Hey everyone, John Hartley, and I'm here with today's mail. Monday morning, and it is raining. I started walking again. Got to get a few pounds off, and I was looking forward to my walk today, but it looks like it's raining across the entire state, so I don't think I'm going to get my walk in. Maybe it'll clear up later, I don't know. Um, today, I have another Franklin, or the Franklin album. And this is 1952 Philadelphia, I believe. Yeah, 1952 Philly. And let me tell you something. This was a hard one to find. If you found one that was really nice looking, it was very expensive. And if you found one that was, you know, reasonably affordable, it was ugly. And so I, I think I looked about, off and on, about two weeks for this one. Um, it's the next in line. I'm going backwards. I've got, you know, I have filled in some where I had them, but when when I the some that I already had but I try when I get to I try not to skip forces me to get the ones that are harder than and get it over with I did skip um, 1958 uh, because it was um, it was easy to skip it. it. I was I didn't I couldn't find one that was nice and I had a 58 proof. So I put the proof in there and to fill the hole for now. I I it, I may work on that one next. But uh I ran across this one on eBay and it was an auction and nobody was bidding on it. And it had a um, let me look at the invoice here. It had a price of twenty four ninety five as the start, the starting bid of the auction. So I said, "Well, I'll, I'll come in at the very end and snipe them." And, you know, throw in a good offer and uh, get it that way. Well, when the auction ended, I wasn't paying attention. When I realized it, I clicked back on it. Sure enough, it, it was over. So I sent the seller a message real quick saying um, I, that I, I, I told him I wasn't home. I was home. I just missed it. I said, I didn't get home in time. If you relist the auction, the item, uh, I want to buy that one. And I also said, if you want to come to an agreed buy it now price, obviously above twenty four ninety five. if we can come to an agreed price, I'll buy it as soon as you repost it at a fixed price. And right after I sent that message, I went back and I looked on my watch list, the page where you can go see what items you're watching. And he had already listed it, relisted it for $24.95 fixed price. And coins this 52 fillies this clean are worth a whole lot more. Than twenty four ninety five, he could have put fifty dollars on this coin and I'd have bought it. I mean, it's this thing. 
it's got some pretty toning on it and um, it's clean you know back very very few bag marks it looks better in, I say this a lot it looks better in hand than it did in the pictures this thing's got full mint luster it's got toning which always makes me feel a little bit better that it has not been dipped and uh, I, I, I don't feel bad because he put the price that he wanted on there but I feel like I stole it so let's put been in the album I use these finger cuts because uh, number one they're, re they're reusable they're easy to get on and off I know they look funny but I use them because especially when you're dealing with uh, proof coins Cotton gloves will leave lint. And I don't like wearing rubber gloves. So I use finger cuts. Rubber gloves make my hands sweat. And I have a problem with, uh, with rashes if I don't, I don't have rashes. Because I have a really good ointment from the doctor. But... Um, I just I don't wear them for that reason but uh I was putting in a uh, a proof a silver proof quarter in the America the beautiful beautiful album and one of these that I had reused had torn it had a little spot that was open and when I pressed it on the edge to put it down into the album my thumb where that hole was hit the coin so that coin now has a uh, I pulled out the bottom one I, I can't how can that happen um, so that proof coin now has this little spot of oil from my finger very nice one two three four five six seven plus the 1958 I've got eight left for this album this album is once you get in older coins, um, the Kennedy album I did, the Kennedy half album, was hard only because there were so many. Um, but not a lot of expensive coins. Um, the nickel of the dime album, the Jefferson nickel from... Uh, 1938 on wasn't that hard either nickels are pretty easy not a lot of expensive ones in there but um the dime album from 46 on was uh pretty easy but when you get you start getting into things like this older half dollars they didn't make as many of them as they did nickels and dimes and quarters they're they're harder to find and uh, I feel very lucky that I've got um, the uh, 52 Philly now and it's in really really nice shape all of the coins in this album are pretty much mark free 
very nice coins so well since it's raining I'll probably spend my day on eBay looking for uh, silver and maybe some foreign coins I've got a uh, I've got a few foreign coins on the way I've got some Lincoln cents wheat cents on the way so only one of those items has shipped so my next my next video probably won't be this week it'll probably be next week but that's okay I'll keep busy in other ways so until something else comes in I'm 1042